Hello everyone, I'm Elisa Gantner, I'm a researcher at the Laboratory of Bioactive Research and Development of the National University of La Plata, Argentina. In this video, I will present my work entitled Molecular Doping Applied to the Search and Rational Design of New Carbonin and HIRES-7 Inhibitors. The aim of this work was the selection in silico validation and application of a molecular docking model to the search and rational design of new human CA7 inhibitors. There are 15 gadolytic isoforms in humans. CA7 is a cytosolic metal enzyme that catalyzes the carbon dioxide to bicarbonate reaction. This enzyme has a zinc ion in the active site that is essential for its catalytic action. In humans, it is expressed mainly in the brain and it has been validated as a new molecular target for the treatment of febrile epilepsy and neuropathic pain. So, how is this enzyme related to epilepsy? The GABAergic pathway normally produces an inhibitory effect on neurotransmission due to a high proportion of the chloride ions current into the cell. However, an intense activation of this pathway is capable of promoting neuronal excitation due a predomination of the outgoing bicarbonate ion current. It has been shown that in febrile epilepsy, this excitation is strictly dependent on the continuous flow of bicarbonate ions produced by CA7, and it is suppressed by the addition of TA inhibitors. Classical CA inhibitors bind to the zinc ion through a deprotonated nitrogen and take the place of the water in the four coordinating position. Several classes of compounds have been identified as non-classical inhibitors exhibiting increased isoform specificity. However, the lack of isoform selectivity continues to be the main problem. To begin, we downloaded the two experimental CA7 structures available at that time from the protein Darabank database. Among all the docking algorithms we tested, we selected Aurodoc for zinc as the only algorithm that was able to reproduce the experimental pose demonstrated by redocking and cross-docking. We validated the scoring function using a test set of known inhibitors and non-inhibitors. Additionally, we generated a decoys library. Through this strategy, we generate inactive decoys and we increase the size of the test set, reducing the error in the performance evaluation. We evaluated the performance of the model by calculating classical enrichment metrics like the receiver operating characteristic curves. Then we applied the model to a virtual screening on a zinc subset of sulfur containing compounds. In addition, we used the model to guide the selection of sulfamides to be synthesized as potential CA7 inhibitors by analyzing the interaction predicted by the docking model of the new proposed structures within the enzyme. The model was based in Autodoc for zinc and the 3MDC experimental structure. Here we can see the result of the redocking. The result of the rock curves are shown in these figures and also the enrichment metrics. According to these results, the model has the ability to correctly discriminate between inhibitors and non-inhibitors. Five candidates from virtual screening were commercially purchased and 11 compounds designed were synthesized. Here we can observe the binding mode of compound 5 proposed by drug design. The in vitro inhibitory activity against human CA7 is being evaluated. This result show that the model constitutes a valuable tool for virtual screening and rational design of new CA7 inhibitors. It is the first molecular docking model with the ability to correctly discriminate between inhibitors and non-inhibitors demonstrated by in silico validation. Finally, I would like to thank you for your attention and the organizers for the opportunity to share my results with this wonderful audience. Thank you.